Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and thank you again for joining me for another Cleaning Motivational. I want to say thank you for being patient during my absence. I had so much fun getting to go home and see my best friend get married. It was absolutely amazing. I cried way more than I thought I would and it was such a great time. I can't wait to see the pictures and just kind of see like what came of that day. It was a beautiful day. And I was so glad to be able to go. It really helped with getting out and doing stuff. It makes me a lot less scared of COVID and more willing to get out and do more things. So I'm excited to start exploring Utah and getting to do a bunch of stuff. My in-laws are coming in next month, so I have a bunch of plans to go see stuff around the Utah area and take them to go see a few things as well. So I'll be like posting more about Utah on Instagram. So if you guys want to see that next month, please check that out. In this video, I went ahead and tackled my downstairs. I did my room when I got back from... Uh, Louisiana so that I could get back into like a nice sleeping place and get some good rest after a long week of wedding stuff. I went ahead and threw in a meal prep recipe that I did for my husband before I left for Louisiana. It was super easy and came out absolutely delicious so check that out at the end or I think it's actually in the middle of the video. But I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this. We're gonna start in the living room with my daughter. I filmed this over three different days while my husband was at work so it's like little cleaning here and there and then at the end, I came back from my vacation and I cleaned my room. If you like this kind of content and enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up as well as leaving a comment down below. And always remember you can subscribe if you want to stick around and see more content as well as hitting that bell notification so you don't miss any future uploads. Let's go ahead and jump into this mess. Talking to each other, I know we feel the same about the situation, like we're stuck inside a game. Time to get out of this circle, yeah, we both carry a scar. Let's rewrite the part we're playing, time to cherish who we are. The only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance, not like anything we've done before, oh, oh, yeah. It's time for something better And time for us to follow our dreams No, we can't stay no more oh. Come run away Don't be afraid We'll be okay And I know it's the right thing to do Let's break away All colors will fade Let's go our own way Now's the time to decide what to do And I'll stand by you Emotions. The first step is always hard When you walk out of the doorway But that's just the place to start The only thing I ever wanted Starts with us taking the chance Not like anything we've done before Oh, oh, yeah Now it's time for something better And time for us to follow our dreams No, we can't stay no more
look at me like that when you break my heart like that like you're feeling sorry cause you're not feeling sorry hey hey don't you look at me like that when you break my heart like that like you're feeling sorry My main focus of cleaning when I knew I was leaving for about five days or so was to make sure that the living room and play area was nice and tidy. Everything was organized. That was really easy for my husband to know what bins were for which. Like he's used to cleaning up um, the playroom and stuff, but I just want to make sure it was really organized and that he could easily find things if Tennyson needed it and stuff like that. He took off for the whole week, so he was able to um, be there for Tennyson and actually stay home with her so I didn't have to get a sitter or put her in daycare or anything. So he was home all the whole time. So I just want to make everything as easy as possible for them while I was gone. They didn't need a dust. They didn't need any deep cleaning. They could just enjoy themselves. And they honestly had so much fun together. I loved watching them on FaceTime and just seeing them get to spend some good quality time together. They don't get that much quality time, I feel, with him back to work. So it was just nice to get to watch them um, bond while I was gone. I did go ahead and decide on this day that I was going to run a bunch of laundry, get every piece of laundry I could um, washed, as well as get all the blankets from the living room washed. We have a lot of blankets. And just make sure everything was just up to, um, like kept up so that he didn't have to do any kind of cleaning while I was gone. But on the day that I did laundry today, my washer kept acting up and I really wanted to do an A fresh clean on it. And I never got the chance to because I ran so much laundry and it took me so long just to get the laundry that I did start actually fully cleaned and put away and packing and stuff. I kind of ran out of time, but I did do three days of cleaning in this video. So this is day one. Day two, I go grocery shopping and get everything I need for meal prepping. I cleaned the kitchen and stuff like that on that day. And then the day I came home, I cleaned my room and did all my laundry that was in my suitcases and put everything away. That way it was just quickly done, dealt with, and I could lay in um, a nice clean room and relax because I feel like I really didn't relax at all on vacation. It was a lot of running around, a lot of last minute wedding things that I do with my best friend. And then of course, two days spent um, at the venue for the rehearsal dinner and getting ready all day and then the wedding and the reception. It was just very hectic. And I flew home very early Monday morning because they were going off to their honeymoon to Tennessee, which I think was so exciting because that's one of the places that me and my husband really love. He's from Tennessee. Well, not really from, but that's where he calls home. So it's cool that they're traveling around there and getting to see it. I've been really enjoying getting pictures and Snapchats from her of all the things they're experiencing in Tennessee because we've done a lot of those things as well. So it's actually really fun to see. But I am glad to be back home. I just started my routine back again so I can't wait to get another video out for you guys I've been filming um this weekend for y'all and I'm doing this voiceover and trying to get this video out for you guys for next week and then I'll have a video that's like kind of up to date um after my vacation that has going to have more cleaning in it I find it hard to
really, really don't us. Your tongue can be sharp, cut me close to the heart. But we can master the art. And the thing is that these scars are scary, but they are just small scars. We should never be afraid of them. You and I know when we are too far apart, everything just falls apart. So I just close my eyes. All right, y'all, we are on day two of cleaning my whole house this weekend. I leave on Wednesday to go to Louisiana, so I'm trying to get my whole house cleaned, really tackle some of the big jobs and just make sure the house is completely spotless before I leave so that my husband and my daughter are like comfortable in the house and don't have to worry about cleaning and just do mild pickup and stuff. I am about to head to the grocery store to pick up the stuff I plan to use for meal prep on Sunday. I'm gonna be making a big batch of spaghetti for Tennyson because it's her favorite. I'm also making some breakfast enchiladas. If you want that recipe, I will link it above in the iCards from when I made it previously in a video. And then I'm gonna be also just meal prepping some baked chicken with some rice. And then I'm gonna be doing some crock pot stuffed peppers, which I will show that recipe um, at the end of this video as well. So I'm gonna go run and do this. I would love to take you guys with me and film while I grocery shop. I'm just not comfortable filming on a base installation. So I don't think you guys will ever really see me grocery shop on base. I'm going to go ahead and run and do that. I'll show you my grocery haul when I get back and then we'll start tackling my kitchen and I also need to tackle my laundry room because yesterday I ran into a huge struggle with my washer. It did not want to rinse out the OxyClean off of my clothes. So I want to go ahead and do an A fresh clean on it and then also kind of just wipe it out and get it all cleaned up. That way it maybe will run a little smoother. I also noticed that my husband and I really overflowed the washer yesterday. So like overloaded it. So it took like four times um, around the dryer to walk, like to dry it. So I really didn't get much done yesterday like I wanted to. My husband also worked way later on a Friday than he usually does, so I didn't get to tackle my kitchen yesterday. But yesterday's plan was to tackle the living room, get as much laundry done as I could, and I wanted to tackle my kitchen and get ready for like food prepping and all the stuff I had planned for the weekend. But since we're a little behind, I'm gonna go ahead and start my morning by running to the grocery store. I'm gonna come home, we're gonna start cleaning, I'm gonna get as much done today as I can, and then Sunday we're gonna meal prep and do some cleaning as well. So I'm gonna pack this video full as much as I can with all the cleaning I plan to get done. I have a lot of packing to do as well, so let's try and get as much done as we can and as quickly as we can. It is really, really raining today. It's pretty bad. I am just now finishing up grocery shopping and I'm getting really hungry and I don't feel like making anything when I get home. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop by Taco Bell. I'm gonna show you guys what I got for my groceries and then we'll go ahead and jump into cleaning. Hopefully the day doesn't stay this rainy, but I'm pretty sure it's going to. It just keeps coming down and I hate yucky rainy weather. So I went ahead and picked up some sweet potato fries with sea salt for Tennyson. She loves those. A roasted garlic hummus, which I added some things to it for a good snack for my husband, as well as some rotisserie chicken, because Ten loves those during snack times, and I figured they could do some hummus wraps. I always pick up a Gold Peak sweet tea. I went ahead and grabbed four Fairlifes and a two-pack of Philadelphia cream cheese for a recipe I'm doing. Two yogurts for Tennyson. They had some Mr. Clean on sale, and then, of course, feminine products. And then I grabbed a couple toiletry items that were travel size and also just some stuff I needed just in general. Tennyson loves Ritz crackers, so I grabbed those as well. Picked up some Spanish rice, a thing of like chicken soup, some sliced carrots, and some garlic since mine went bad. I also picked up some Mio's for my husband because he uses this in his water constantly. And I also was running out of cumin, so I grabbed some cumin. And then I have three green bell peppers and two orange. The reds weren't looking so hot, so I just grabbed these two for stuffed peppers as well as a small onion. And then I grabbed some flour tortillas as well. For snacks, I got them, or Trevor, some beef jerky, some hot buffalo wing pieces, and some sweet chili Doritos. For Tennyson, I got her some Doritos and some smart food party size white cheddar popcorn. It's her all-time favorite. So just a quick small run. I'm food prepping for them. They just needed a couple snacks and things like that. So I just picked up the bare minimum that I needed to get through my trip when I'm gone. When I came home, I did do grocery shopping and did some more um, Sunday meal prepping, so or 
some weekday meal prepping so that we don't have to cook as often. Let's go ahead and tackle this kitchen and get it tidy and ready to go for some meal prepping. I have a long day of meal prepping, so I want to get the kitchen as clean as I can so I can start that process and then I can go ahead and start packing my bags. Covering our faces, you know it is all lies. You know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes, round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute, taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes, swinging down in life, you know. Breathing out air for a minute, yeah. Hey, would you rather stay right here? Make everything. Beverages, show only the good sides. 
Always pretty smiles are covering her face You know it is all lies You know it is all lies So I'm still down a coffee pot, which is why you guys keep seeing the pour over coffee pot that's in my kitchen. I am struggling so hard to find one that I genuinely like the reviews on and want to purchase. If you guys have a coffee pot that is not like a single cup or a Keurig or anything like that, this is just the basic old school carafe coffee pot that you absolutely love. Let me know in the comments down below because I am dying for a coffee pot. I really, really need one. My in-laws are coming next month. Uh, my father-in-law drinks coffee pretty much like I do. So I want to get an old school, not really old school, I want a good reviewed newer coffee pot that does really well and also has a warmer plate that will keep my coffee warm so I don't have to worry about microwaving it if it turns off and stuff like that. So I just want to have a really good coffee pot. So if you have one that has a carafe and not a single pour, let me know because I really, really want to get one. Don't you wanna have fun? Said that they don't got a future, future like uh, it burns. So give him something worse to kill his head with, make him forget somehow. Might be that another day she would have wished he stayed, but they're done. Sorry, this won't be enough this time. Yeah, he's calling all his friends to get some action and distract him right now. He's fine, got Lucy on the line, let's get this started. Where's the party tonight?
for someone Who brings you breakfast in bed And doesn't mess with your head No, but you don't answer to, answer to no one yeah. Cause you got way too many scars From people tearing you apart no. You think I let you down Break your heart and play around But that's not me, no I will love you, love you right back And come and hold you whenever you're sad yeah. I know you don't wanna get hurt But you'll have to take my word That I will love you, love you right back Love you right back So we're coming to the end of the cleaning portion. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an overview of the kitchen and dining room. I did go ahead and do my floors off of camera because I was running out of battery and I just didn't wanna waste it and I really wanted to get the meal prepping done on camera. So I turned it off, did the floors, but I went ahead and give you guys an overview of what we accomplished today. And then we're gonna jump into a super easy and delicious Mexican style stuffed pepper using the crock pot and also your stove. I always feel like stuffed peppers take a long time because you have to either bake them or boil the peppers in preparation. This cuts that step out and it is so easy and so delicious every time. All right, y'all, so today we're gonna be doing crock pot Mexican style stuffed peppers. So you're gonna need five bell peppers. I did three of the green and two of the orange because they were the size I needed them to be and the reds weren't really looking this size. I'm also gonna be doing some chopped green chilies, Mexican corn, black beans, a little bit of garlic. I'm gonna use the original taco seasoning. I like the hot, but can't seem to find it lately. I also just picked up a bag of Spanish rice. Instead of doing it from scratch, I wanna make this super easy. So I just grabbed a bag of Spanish rice. You're gonna want a pound of ground beef. You're gonna use about a half cup of picante hot or any salsa of your choice. I'm gonna do a half cup of chicken stock to the crock pot as well. I'm gonna do half an onion with my beef and of course, Mexican style cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and start the process of putting this together and then I'll show you how it goes into the crock pot and how easy it is to make this without having to do the full food prep of like boiling your peppers and all that. It just goes into the crock pot super fast, super easy. 
So let's go ahead and get this done. So to my pan, I'm gonna go ahead and add the full onion. I grabbed a smaller onion, so I ended up using all of it. I'm gonna cook these down till they're kind of, they start to turn a little color, like almost translucent. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my ground beef after that. I'm gonna give a little color to the ground beef, and I'm gonna make a small hole in the center of my ground beef and add as much garlic as I want. It's all about seasoning with your heart. If garlic is your thing, please add as much garlic as you want. I know garlic isn't like typically like a full Mexican full of garlic, but I love garlic in, in literally any dish. So I added about a tablespoon, maybe a little more um, of the garlic. I just let it come until it was fla like fragrant to me, and then I just mixed it in with my ground beef. After that, I went ahead and added my can of green chilies, as well as um, I think my corn, my beans, and also the salsa and taco seasoning. For the taco seasoning packet, it actually calls for three-fourths cup of water. I never in my life have added the full three-fourths cup. I usually do less, maybe half cup or less, because I like to simmer it down to where there's like no liquid left. Then I went ahead and added my salsa and then added my cooked Spanish rice. I mixed it all together. I find it easier to just mix everything together into one pan to stuff my peppers rather than doing layers of each kind of filling that I want to do. So I have cleaned peppers here in my crock pot. It fits about five. I don't know, depending on your size, how many you can fit, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill my peppers. The first layer of the Mexi filling, and then I'm gonna add a layer of the Mexi cheese, and then another layer of filling, and then another layer of cheese. I'm gonna do this for all the peppers, and at the very end, I'm gonna add about a half cup, maybe a little more, until it kind of just grazes the bottom of your peppers, and the chicken stock will steam your peppers and make them super soft which is kind of like boiling them before you do it um, when you do like the regular authentic um, stuffed peppers. I remember when I first started talking to my husband like dating kind of and one of the first meals he ever invited me to his house for was his notorious Mexican style stuffed peppers and so when I was preparing things and wanting to decide like what I wanted to make for him, I wanted to make a very nostalgic meal for him, which is stuffed peppers. It was one of his go-to recipes he always did, and he hasn't made it the entire time we've been married, but before we were married, it was his first meal he ever made for me, and my first meal for him was Alfredo, so like those two meals are very nostalgic to me, so I wanted to go ahead and make him something that reminded me of him, so I went ahead and made these. They're super easy. Once you add the stock into the center, go ahead and cover it. Put it on high, and you're going to cook it for about, I want to say, two and a half to three hours or until your peppers are tender. I went ahead and took my lid off, let them cool for about a half hour before I took tongs and pulled them out into containers. But they come out super delicious. The peppers are tender, not mushy, and it's so cheesy, so much flavors. They've all melted together, and it's just superb. I love this recipe. So we're going to go ahead and move on to cleaning my room. This was the day after I got back, so on a Tuesday. I On Monday when I got home, I unpacked my suitcase, washed all my laundry, kind of distributed things where they needed to go into the certain spaces I needed to put it away in. So on this day, I wanted to get my room completely cleaned up. My husband had vacuumed the day before, so I didn't worry about vacuuming. I just wanted to get my bed made, get my laundry put away, and just kind of get rid of all dust and things. So I wanted to make sure that my sleeping place was going to be super relaxing this night because I was so excited to get to bed early and get a full night's rest. Better say something that will change my mind. Gotta give me something cause I'm not blind. I don't know how to enjoy it Every time you tell me it's not there I suppose that we won't stand a chance We 
My best friend gifted us all these beautiful maroon flower robes for all the bridesmaids. And then my daughter was supposed to be a flower girl in her wedding, but she didn't get to come. I wanted her to, but I was really nervous about traveling with her for the first time on a plane. So I decided to let her stay at home, but I got to come home with her robe. So now me and Tenny have adorable matching floral, um, just cute silk robes. I find her robe to be so adorable. There was another flower girl there, and I got to put the robe on her when she was there, and it fit her. She was She's older. She's like five, so it fit her like perfect, and I put the robe on my daughter when I got home, and it went all the way down to her ankles, and it was just so cute the, how much it swallowed her, but also so cute. I wish I had seen her there that day, and I wish I had seen her walk down that aisle.
care for one another You and I You and I Thought I lost my way But you washed out all the way Don't know why Don't know why You got me high but I'm sober You make me lonely when I'm by myself I should be free but I'm hoping The week prior to this, I accidentally spilled a whole glass of tea all over this desk and made it all dimply and it raised up and I'm starting to still find tea in random places. And then right after I cleaned this desk on camera, I knocked over the glass of tea that was sitting on that coaster all over this desk. So it is time for me to go ahead and redo this desk. I am so tired of spilling stuff on it. It now has like a sticky finish. Like I think it just took off the protective coating by now with all the cleaning that I've done on it. And it just drives me crazy with all the dimpling and stuff. So I, I want to try to redo this desk, sand it down. I want to add some um, peel and stick contact paper that looks like a wood finish on the top and then do the bottom half of like a white, I think, like a creamy colored white. This cute little gnome on my desk was one of our bridesmaids gifts as well. It's a, called a wedding gnome and all the bridesmaids have little different ones and then they also had um, bride and groom ones as well. So now we're completely finished with cleaning in this video. I hope that you liked it. I was really glad that I got most of my house cleaned before I went on vacation and then getting to come home and getting my room cleaned and ready for a full sit down of editing relaxing and sleeping for a first full night of sleep since I've been gone. If you liked this content, give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet and remember to always hit that bell notification so you don't miss any future uploads. Thank you again so much for watching and I will catch you guys next week. I ain't got no time for romance, but baby I don't want to lead you on. Now I'm looking for something steady, not ready for that. I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you. Here's your time to shine, show me what you can do